Two weeks ago, Janssen was finally allowed to go home after a lengthy hospital stay due to smoke inhalation and severe burns due to an incident in May that forever changed her life. The Daily Sun reported that Janssen, who had two skin graft operations thus far, said she made peace with the way she looks now, adding she's just happy to be alive. The engine employee was on her way to work one day in May when the car she and another woman traveled in caught fire in what was suspected arson. Jansen explained the car she and the other lady, who unfortunately did not make it out alive, traveled in was unusually empty on that day. The mother of one said she noticed the fire in the corner of the carriage and she immediately informed the other woman, who went straight into panic mode. Janssen explained it was a matter of minutes before the car turned into a hot oven, with smoke clouding the carriage to the point where it was nearly impossible to see. I pulled my jacket over my face and reached for my phone to put on the flashlight, but I could not. My hands were sweating. Janssen added the other woman's screams faded and she did not even realize her face and hands were burning. The only thing on her mind was getting out of the cart. I got upset. I said, no man, not like this, not today. I pushed the window open, stuck my head out and jumped, learned the drop was over a meter high and she admitted it felt like forever until someone finally found her lying on the grass. Jansen survived the fiery cart, but her battle was far from over. She had to spend more than a month in the hospital due to toxic smoke inhalation and severe burns. To make matter worse, her nine-year-old son was so scared when he first saw her, he ran out of the hospital room. It took him a couple of visits to adapt to what had happened to his mommy. However, despite the terrifying ordeal which almost claimed her life, Jansen said she is just happy to be alive. I'd rather be looking like this than not being here at all. This is who I am. I've accepted it, she said, get the hottest gist on CEO's interview, 24-year-old female Nigerian graduate living the life as a carpenter, TV source.